it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be sharing Thulsa Doom Demigod Serpent Form from Super 7's Ultimate Conan the Barbarian line. By far, my favorite fictional character ever. And I think it's, it's one or two, you know, one of my favorite films of all time with the sound of music. <laughs> Uh, you know, so that's a little bit of contrast there, but definitely, you know, my one of my favorite, favorite fictional universes of all time, you know, so I'm excited to get them out of the package and let's just look at the outside real quick. The very cool looking copper foil, very chill. And there we have Thulsa Doom, the demigod himself. Let's get him out of the package. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> quick look at the back. There we go. Super cool. Love that medallion or that emblem. Very nice. All right, let's get it out of the package. All right, let's check out Thulsa Doom with his accessories. A quick close look. And that is one really nice looking snake arrow great detail. I mean, this thing is super tiny and super thin. The bow is definitely one of the best bows I've seen in the 112 scale. In terms of the way it's designed, this is somewhat pliable, so there's give there. That's great. And this plastic, this elastic string, it's like the fabric on the outside with the elastic cord on the inside. And when you pull it, see how the bow gives? Really nice, very cool. Hear the sound? Very, very cool combo. In the movie, Thulsa Doom draws the, the arrow with the snake head facing forward. I'm almost 100% on that. I literally just saw the movie and I can't remember for, for like 100%, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Uh, and he draws it this way and it hits Valeria. Um, here, he doesn't have a hand with a gap between fingers where he could kind of like hold it in a pose to draw. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of like a little note there. But interestingly, the mouth on the snake is open. So if you wanted to do your own little photo shoot, you would have some assistance here because the snake mouth will catch the string, even though that's not how it was depicted in the movie. Um, so just a little cool little note on that. The serpent dagger and this thing is really nice cool metallic sheen great detail there on those two serpent heads the head portraits it's kind of like an intermittent snake head form and as we see this mouth articulates that is chill whoa articulates a whole lot i wasn't expecting that very chill and look at the detail there. That thing looks so much like the snake in the movie, man. Wow. You know, I'm actually going to go back and watch the movie to see if these patterns on the snake's face are the same. The patterns I know here along the side of the hood are the same. Because I've already checked that. These patterns of these runes or, 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 or emblems, hieroglyphs. Really chill stuff. Here at the top, you see the two snakes at the top but they're one very cool and, but here this is the final form of the snake and he is now about to go into that escape tunnel in the mountain really nice he comes with actually a total of eight hands so there were three additional pair of hands in the, in the uh, box he came wearing the two palm hands two fists and then two different kinds of gripping hands so i'll show you that here and i have one on either hand there's really not much to distinguish the two gripping hands uh, other than the fact that one has a horizontal hinge and the other has a vertical hinge but it's cool that you have those options very very chill this necklace on him is loose and it is really cool, it's really pliable. This is the outfit that he is wearing in the ceremonial scene inside of the Mountain of Power. 
But also at the very end when he has that dramatic conversation with Conan and Conan kind of handles his business there. Uh, so very important uh, ceremonial garb that he's wearing here and it is extremely well executed. I was caught by surprise by this knitted cloth in the back. Very, very cool. I thought that this would have been a, a plastic piece coming back here, but I thought this was a super nice touch. It is stitched in here at the shoulder pieces. Very, very nice. Flip these over. You see his belt, which has a pin that seems to be removable. I am not gonna open that up right now at all. Uh, and this robe is super soft. So it's like a pleather, but this thing is super thin and super soft. I mean, look at how it all just crunches up like this. Really, really nice, super cool. I will say, jutting out here at the forearms, these points that you see, it's a piece of an armor element from his gauntlets by the forearm that are actually, I believe, the exact same forearms from the other Thoughts of Doom. And we're definitely going to do a close comparison today. Uh, as I was looking at the figure and lifting the robe, you can, you can see that he is wearing very cool molded armor pants met at the calf with some really awesome sandals and as soon as i saw these sandals i was like wow those sandals would have been great on on a, on a different conan form you know so very very cool soft fabric as you saw reflective green here just like in the movie around the waist looking at his face i mean that one thing that made thalsa doom so spooky in the movie was i mean in that opening scene right with conan and his mother and he has this blank look staring directly into the camera. You know, that was just a wild, wild look. Uh, amazing, amazing villain. Gotta be one of the greatest villains of all time, Thulsa Doom. Let's swap out some heads and see how he looks here. And then we'll go ahead and jump into a close comparison of the two Thulsa Dooms. Very nice. That is a cool, cool look. That is a freaky look. Very, very nice. The other more complete form is actually not a head portrait at all. You can't attach it. I guess it's just intended to be more of a dial piece in the background where he is kind of like heading off into that tunnel. Awesome, 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 super cool. All right, let's take a look at articulation. In the head, we know that the jaw on this one will articulate, but it, there is no movement, no wobble, no rotation or anything. I will swap out but because of the hood all around the head, you're not gonna get any wobble. You will get some left and right, but you will not get easy full rotation. In terms of up and down, you're not gonna get much. A little bit. The arms, let me give you a full 90. You do have the upper bicep swivel, almost 90 degrees at the elbows. Your arms will go all the way up with rotation. Does he have a crunch? Yep, you do have some crunch. Very cool. You do have your rotation at the waist, but because the robe is all one piece, careful moving that as you see that it bunches as I hold it and twist it. The legs are gonna give you a great split as ultimates always do. Not bad, those are some great looking sandaled feet, man. <laughs> and then forward about that much and you will get 90 at the knee you'll get some great movement with the ankle very nice i really like those sandal feet man he's leaning back a little bit watching tv maybe <laughs> uh, but not too bad if he had a mount hint hint super seven if he had a mount he could totally excellent stuff because he did have the mount the mount that he rolled into the uh the battle scene where he you know he shot at the daughter of king osric right there's that scene with him on the horse certainly so that would be a nice set to have and there is also a great scene with conan on the mount as he is searching around and asking questions about the cult of set so you know that would be two comparative nice sets that sounds like a great wave to me you know two figures uh and 
two mounts. So heck yeah. So let's go ahead and get the first Thulsa Doom mount and get them side by side. Immediately, you can tell these are both the likeness of James Earl Jones, but the flesh tones that they have here for the plastics are very, very different. That could be because of the shot that they used in the movie. Maybe the lighting was different and in the matching with the plastics. That's why we have that difference there. It could also just be a lack of oversight somewhere. Who knows? But either way, both likenesses are definitely James Earl Jones. And if you look closely, you can tell that it's not the exact same mold for both head portraits. So that's cool too. You know, that there, you have that uniqueness in either case. Um, very, very nice. This Thulsa Doom has gorgeous, gorgeous uh, sculpt work and, and molding here on the armor of his chest plate. And that really sets him apart. He also has that beautifully sculpted pauldron with the snake on either side. You see his ornate gauntlets with the snakes there also. And I point that out because on the new release, we seem to have the same buck minus this armor plate here for the chest because I don't feel it underneath the robes. And obviously minus the change in the lower part of the legs. As we can clearly see here, the new release has these beautifully sandaled feet. I mean, those things are really stunning. Again, the, the flesh tone there is really, really light and really more of a tan than it is a brown. But the sandaled feet look remarkable nonetheless. But you can see that it is the same sculpting and molding on the pants. This is a much deeper green. And then you see the same waist element there on the gauntlets you have that same protruding serpent head there at the tips of the forms like i pointed out and you want to be mindful of that so you don't poke through your robe and then up here on the arms you can also feel the molding of the uh armor that he has on the previous release so that's really interesting same buck they just got rid of that armor element and Obviously, we have the same articulation throughout. This robe is very soft and comes down beautifully. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and jump right into our theme comparison and get these guys paired up with some of their buds, Rexor and Thorgrim, and I'll bring them right out. Very nice, super cool shot. The four of them there standing together. I mean, the sculpt work and the molding and the deco on these figs by Super 7, I mean, they have gone way, way in. You know, considering that Conan the Barbarian isn't as popular a toy line, if you will, as let's say uh, Ninja Turtles or, or Motu or something like that, or G.I. Joe maybe, uh, the fact that they've gone so in on the deco and the design, I mean, I feel like, you know, Hats off to them. These are beautiful figs. They really have captured the likeness of the characters and, and the figures from the film. Give our new release a chance to shine with his two giants. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like that look very much. Uh, let's go ahead and bring out a few other figs that kind of uh, capture that fantasy, you know, necro, necroverse. Lovecraftian kind of vibe. And I'm going to bring out a Mythic Legions Belphegor. I'm going to bring out Atticus Doom from Mesco 112 Collective. Very, very cool. I will bring out my Mythic Legions Morgolith. And she is stunning in all of her adornments. She doesn't have her purple cape on right now, but she does have one. And I thought that she complimented the way Thulsa Doom looks there. And that whole demigod, serpent, kind of Lovecraftian vibe there. And last but not least, just because he's recent and I have him out for a sense of scale, we can bring out my Stab of Hades from Mix Max Studio and get him out there paired up rather nicely very very cool that is a really busy busy background there but we'll take it we'll take it Thulsa Doom absolutely awesome addition to the collection super happy and super excited all puns intended that I have a chance to collect 
the characters from my one of my favorite movies of all time. Like I told you, it's either one or two. It's right there with Sound of Music, man. Um, so heck yeah, everybody. It's a ton of fun taking this time out to share and enjoy the experience of collecting such amazing pieces of actionable art and also to have the opportunity to take that time and share it with you guys. As always, until next time, everybody. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.